Hello! Red here, I'm bringing part 58 of the Byzantine Empire campaign. Last we left off, we, went, we dealt with a revolt, and we are dealing with pirate suits. Apparently took on liquid fire. But I want to do something else right now. And it's that, with our religion, with our moral authority being a bit down because we're not giving away parts of these lands. I should probably give the holy site of Constantinople and holy site of Mount Athos to we give control of it to someone else. That's what we're going to do. Because it's you revolted against our country. We'll give away our this touchy. And with that, it's your filthy heathen. You'll have to say yes to giving up this land. So let's get that done. Now since we directly hold this, we will revoke this title to your filthy heathen. Come on. You old wicked priest. There we go. Now since you got rid of that, now it belongs directly to me. And now we directly have um, the Holy Sam Athos under our control. So let's go here. And we'll simply give it to Holy Man. Or possibly we'll just give it to someone over here. I guess someone with high learning. Give it to you. You're dead. Never mind. We'll give it to you. you. can have the Bishop of Mount Athos. That shouldn't hurt more authority, or not? No. And so now I'll bury these lands once more under someone who's actually going to be my religion. I can revoke your title. Someone who's actually my religion. Here we go. Now some people go over here. I'll grant this man. A whole duchy. There we go. You'd find in our prison who is actually not our religion. Let's start from the top. You, you know what, if I just make you fall to a religion, if I can, you will just work your title. Let's go do that. Okay, is that pretty much everyone? Yeah, and everyone else is just my religion. So the letter. 
A letter was found this morning nailed to the doors of the great palace. It appears to be written in blood, presumably from a dead palace guard left impaled on a spear on the gardens. It reads, Enough games, Bastilius. I am in possession of something you want, and you must realize by now it cannot be seized by force of arms. I propose a trade. On the back of this letter you'll find a map to a small island in Aegean. Bring plenty of gold, and I'll bring the formula of your liquid fire, as well as the last surviving alchemist with the knowledge of producing it. Signed, King Kariros the Magnanimous. I think we'll just simply give him the money. Because he may not even have the formula with him. Very well. All visor's plans failed, we will simply give money. The deal, you set sail with your flagship to the island Kuridos, and indicating the letter. The Pirate King's already arrived at the small barren island, and you'll make the landing with a small shore a party with the trusted veneering guardsmen. Creel stands surrounded by his brigands. I hope ye brought plenty of gold, Creel says. The secret of the Greek fire is an expensive one, and I'm sure you know it's better than anyone. The pirates push an old frail man holding a scroll forward as you gradually provide the ransom. My apologies about the warehouse and docks, the pirate king says with a smile. We had to cover on tracks. With the deal concluded, both groups depart from their ships. The deal is concluded. Very well. Returning home, you you set course for Constantinople, and your men confirm that the old man is indeed one of the missing alchemists. The formula he brought also seems genuine. When he pains you greatly to give in to the mads of criminals, you simply cannot see any alternative way of solving this matter. The secret of liquid fire has to be returned to the Empire, but only at great cost. It's with a heavy heart you approach the Bosphorus. When Constantinople comes into view, the sky becomes a great city crowded in dark storm clouds. Being Bastilius is not all what it's cracked up to be. Now we got that fixed. We still 95 threat. And we got 93 more authority. Because it's back in my hands, but let's make sure that's going to go belong to someone. He'll be a bit more confronting. So simply give it to you. There we go. So 93 more authority. 90 more authority. We are getting close to be able to be at 100. Which means we could technically, I believe, for my other campaign when I played as a pagan, I reformed my religion and was able to do great holy wars when I reached 100 more authority. So hopefully that'll be the same. Hopefully it'll be the same thing that we can do. We're still 10 away. And no, we won't marry into that line. King Marus is still at war. You can't do much because I believe she is still against us, yes. There are no revolts that we can really exploit on. We could go to war against the Seljuks. Though these wars would be very small compared to what we can do. I'm sure make our lands look a bit nicer, but. There's not really much I can do. Nope. Fair Jerusalem's not revolting.
And you... Ceiling Revolt, that's a Mary. No, thank you. Hmm. Two months we can hold another feast. One might to do. We can invoke some bishoprics. Kill some people. Who hates me the most? You. I'm trying to kill you somehow. I'll plot to kill you. Get rid of some enemies. And my phone went off. I don't know what was that about. Apologies for that. Let's see, we are night and away. Though what holy wars have we lost? Probably one of our kings. Lost him somehow. If we finally get Jerusalem, we'll probably be able to finally get a hundred more authority. And Daniel's kind. I thought he was kind before. The entire papacy of Pope. And since the second has ended. Oh wow. Hungary, you'll Getting revolted against the tyranny. Hungary is not looking so well. And can we do anything with your revolts? No. How about you? Yeah, I can just do, claim this. Siberian Hungary Revolt, Jewel of Belgrade. So you, you may declared for this, yes. I suppose he doesn't need my help after all. Unfortunately, since. It is a revolt. I won't mental with this one, though I can't really do much with them. They were touching borders of Poland. Let's see. He's zealous. Very good. My heir is a friend. He's not my son, he's just my friend. Don't worry about those. Don't worry about the details. These defensive packs really have gotten a bit annoying. The Poland's not in it. And people hating me because of the fact that I'm brave. We could simply just go to war. If I attack any Muslim, then I'll have to fight all of this paganism. Then what's the worst that can happen? What if we just declare on you? Then I'll have to fight the Fatimid, the Hamid, all these guys. You, you, and you. But I will get my hands on Jerusalem. So in about one more day. There we go. So we can declare war for Jerusalem. 
think that's what I want. Though it would call on all the Christians. Ah. Because my threat is so high. Ah, oh, well. We will simply have to wait. Such a thrill. So there's not really much I can do right now. Besides sit and wait. In Serbia, is now seizing this land down. Very good. So, the thing we can do is look at laws. Do we get that? One law passed. How much money am I getting now? 247 ducats. I'm making 800 ducats a year. Let's go and research some economy tech. Let's see if we can invite some people to this plot. These people would love to come just for funsies. Wow, that threat is so high. I guess I get some time to stabilize the realm. Mental bliss. Loving my wife even more. As much as 27 can give me. There we go, 82. And unless I'll stew it, even though we just hired him. Actually, no. Why are you? And we have uh, Peasant Revolt. Uh, revolt. I just want to revolt. So they have approximately just 3,000 troops. Now we'll send an Italian army to go take care of this. More people want to marry into a... to a lands. You can always marry a son off. Try maybe try to get a claim somehow. Like, who would I want to gain land from? Hungary might see a good option. Aquitaine might see a better option. And you have one daughter. Who's an imbecile. Ugh. Let's see. I have a 14 year old, Princess Aquitaine. There's a 42 year old genius, though she's 42 years old. Let's marry. Let's marry you. Oh, you're already betrothed. How about England? Sentence commuted. Kill off that man. And no one. Maybe we can finally unite Armenia. 
No. It must be a Bohemia. There we go. Are you already betrothed? No, you're not. There we go. We have all of our troops ready, and now we're going to go fight them. And with that, I think I need to call about here, so I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.